Hi, welcome to Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in spiritual growth, bringing from powerful Word of God, powerful prayer sessions, night videos, and many more. First, the Bible says our faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So it is what you hear that beauty of it is what you hear that you engage that truly profit you. So I encourage you as about to listen to this word of God. Please open up your heart because God is about to visit you. God is about to transform your life. God is about to turn your life around. So I encourage you if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please do subscribe, like and share this message with others. If I am sent to you, my words won't fall to the ground. Now hear me. Everything dying in your life in the next three days, I command it to come back to life. Every terminal condition that you have suffered, every terminal affliction that you have suffered in your body, in your relationships, in your circumstance, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare they shut down now. Everything you have lost your resources, your times, your seasons. I come to you as one sent to this generation. In the name of Jesus, let there be restoration now. Every reproach that you have carried until now, be it a cost, be it a spiritual manipulation, I speak over your destiny now. Let that reproach be broken in the name of Jesus. Every bondage you have carried, every limitation you have carried, every stagnation you have suffered, I bring you a prophetic push. In the name of Jesus, go forward and prosper now. In the name of Jesus the Lord, I decree and declare those doors are broken now. I command them to break open. I command every priest standing on those doors, let their witnesses be terminated. Let their altars be shattered. In the name of Jesus, step into those doors now. Step into those doors now. Step into the door of your next level. Step into the door of your opportunity. Step into the door of your ministry. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Finally, I want to lift up yoke. Yokes of poverty and financial limitation. See, there are three things that when you meet an average person, he is suffering either from one or from all. Number one is sickness. You meet 10 people, eight are sick. Number one is sickness. Number two is poverty. The systems of this world are 
designed to keep men poor and for you to rise up above the poverty line number one you must have a value if you don't produce any value you can't break the threshold of poverty number two you must have a gift if you don't have any gift or any talent you can't break the threshold of poverty number three you must have an inheritance either you are connected to somebody who has broken through before and he handed over that inheritance to you and number four is by the blessing he said the lord bless them and he said be fruitful multiply they replenish subdue have dominion and trust me there are many people who don't even know the gift they carry there are many people who don't really have values so the first point to stir wealth out of people is by releasing blessing he said the blessings of the lord make it rich it added no sorrow to it now in the name of jesus i release the blessings that make rich let it rest upon you now receive the power to get wealth receive the power to get wealth even this week some of you will break into realms of wealth that you have not bargained for in the name of jesus let that grace rest upon you now lift your hands and honor the lord yokes of poverty have been broken causes stagnations limitations they have been broken they have been shattered yes you are you for wealth two things happen number one he gives you the power to get wealth there's a power in the context of that power you may not do anything you'll still be wealthy you know how through favor you know how through wealth transfer you know how through opportunities you know how through connection with honorable people you know how through many blessings that are super, ways that are supernatural. But the second way God also blesses you to get well is by making you. He says the blessings of the Lord that make it rich. That means he may not give you riches directly through favor. But he will give you something that produce riches. That's where wisdom comes. You can invent something and create a value that generates money. You see that? That's where talents and giftings come he can put a gift on you that as you do what you are doing he can release wealth but by all means you must be blessed either by giving you the power to get it or by giving you the power to make something that gets it now in the name of jesus let both dimensions rest upon you let both dimensions rest upon you carry that grace now carry that function now Carry that grace now. Carry that function now. And finally, anybody who came here with a yoke of sickness yoke will break now if it follows you out of this hall then i don't know this god i serve now in the name of jesus every yoke of sickness every yoke of affliction on the ear on the eye in the organ in the blood i decree and declare they break now they break now every spirit of infirmity that has bounded itself to you i command their powers to break now in the name of jesus be healed now be free now be let loose now in the mighty name of jesus demonic migraines have been terminated demonic growths have been terminated organ infections have been terminated weaknesses arthritis joint infection i command all those bondages to roll off your life right now in the mighty name of jesus christ 
Lift your hands and celebrate God. Remember you receive with joy. Go ahead and give the Lord a shout. Thank you for staying to the end of this message. But before you leave, I want to tell you a story. There was a father who has two sons. And so he sent two of his sons to the farm, like to go and harvest yam. So he called them both and sent them. The elderly one says he is going to go, that he is going to like go on the errands. But the younger one says he is not going to go. And so they left the presence of the man. And behold, the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went. But the one who says he was not going to go, at a point he thought within himself and said, My father has been very responsible for me, so I will go. So he changed his mind and went. So I want to ask, among these two sons, who actually does the will of the father? It is the younger one. So as you have listened to this message, it's not about listening alone. If you're listening, um, probably you feel stirred up. But later on, the zeal, the passion that you had when you were listening to this message dies and you do not apply this message, it means the time that you dedicated listening to, them, to this message was a waste. So it is not about what you share alone. It's not about the messages that you listen to alone it is more of what you take out of those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um better so i do hope and i pray that this message will transform your life will turn your life around 